In this video, I show you how to diagnose millipede video RAM issues just from sight. The video RAM layout for millipede is very interesting. It consists of eight 2101 RAMs. Each RAM holds four bits of data. And there are four banks of RAM, each bank consisting of two chips. And each chip provides one, we'll say, nibble, four bits of the eight bits at an address. And it's very interesting because rather than the RAMs being laid out from the beginning of the address to the end, the RAMs are interleaved. That is, from address 1000 hex, which is where it starts on Millipede, the RAM layout, the addresses in RAM space actually switch RAM banks every 16 addresses. And this is interesting because as you go through the address range from hex 1000 where those RAMs are mapped into, as you go through every 16 addresses actually is accessing, accessing a different RAM bank. So addresses 1000 hex through 1000 f hex is bank 1 addresses 1010 through 101 F is bank 2. 1020 through 102 F bank 3 and then 1030 through 103 F is bank 4. And you actually see this visibly on the centipede screen. You'll see bank you'll see columns starting from the left to right. The leftmost column bottom half is bank 1. Then the leftmost column top half is bank 2. You move over and the uh, next column, the bottom half is bank 3, and the top, bank 4. Then it starts all over again, one, bank 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, and so forth and so on through the entire tile RAM range. So it makes it very easy to actually tell which RAM bank is bad when you see so when Millipede boots up, it first clears the screen and then it starts writing to each bank of RAM in order in 16 um, address increments, that is half columns. So when it clears the screen, the screen should be blank, but often you'll see something like this, where you have a series of a certain character on either the top or bottom of the screen every other column. What happens is this is a specific bank of RAM is reading incorrectly. That is the um, the video hardware is actually accessing this data that's in the RAM and it's seeing not zeros. It's seeing some other data and that's not correct. Now you'll also see usually um, these mushrooms on the far left um, as many banks that it's actually finished checking. It will stop when it gets the first error. But by looking at the columns that repeat that are not blank and not those mushrooms, you can tell what is bad. Um, so here we know that is bank three, um, where those P's are occurring. Now bank one is chips N4 and M2. Bank two is M4 and L2, bank 3 is L4 and K2, and bank 4 is K4 and J2. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay great, so I know by looking at the screen now which bank it is. Well how do I know which chip it is? Well that's also pretty easy because each of the characters represents a hex number from 0 to FF. Now, when the game boots up, again, it writes all zeros to all the addresses of that range. So they should all be zero, zero. But if one of the chips will ba be bad, one of those nibbles, either the right hex digit or the left hex digit, will not be zero. And one of these characters should show. And the number you see here is the actual number that the video RAM is actually outputting. 
So if we see columns of P's, we know that the video RAM, rather than storing or saying that it's zero at that address, is actually showing one zero hex. So that means that the data bit corresponding to, the, to make that number is stuck or is not outputting correctly. So that is actually the data bit 4, which is the least significant data bit or of the RAM that controls the left side. So basically, once you find the bank, you know which two chips it is down to. There's going to be a chip in the 4 column or a chip in the 2 column. If you see one of the characters on the left here, that means a chip in the 4 column is bad. If you see a character in the right column here, that means the chip in column 2 is bad. Now what happens if you see a character that's not in either of these columns? That means both chips are bad. Because it's a, one of the numbers between 0 and FF where one of the Mo one of the nibbles is not set to zero. That means both chips are outputting something that's not zero and they both should be putting out output four bits of zero. Finally, let's assume you pull the, you find the RAM that's bad and you pull it and you replace it and you're still getting the error. That means it wasn't the RAM chip but something on that data line corresponding to where the one bit is set is bad. For example, if you saw a P, that means data bit um, data bit 4 is not showing correct, which is, date, which is again, the data bit 0 on the output of the chip at an L4. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was educational. Um, at some point, I'll do a video on Centipede. It's basically the same, except the, the um, address range is different, and the characters can be different.